Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to get into using ChatGBT for ArcGIS Pro. So we'll search OpenAI or ChatGBT in Google. Once we find a website, we can click it. So ChatGBT allows us to talk to an AI platform, which is really helpful for productivity, especially with tech, within technical disciplines. So ChatGBT can be used for GIS. When you're first signing up for ChatGBT, you have to go here and click try. If you have a login, you can log in here, but if not, you have to sign up, enter your email address, and continue the steps. Once you have logged in, it'll look like this. You'll have example questions. You have capabilities. And you have limitations presented in front of you. Over to your left, you can find your previous chats that you used. You have the option to clear conversations, upgrade to plus, go dark mode, updates, and FAQs, or log out. This is where you can ask chat GBT questions, and then you can hit this or press enter in order to execute those questions. So we'll start off with a simple question, how to find duplicates in ArcGIS Pro. So as you ask the question, you can see that chat GBT will then render an answer for you. You can use ChatGBT for coding, such as Python, which we'll get into later on on this channel. And you can also ask it for basic steps within ArcGIS Pro, even up to advanced steps within ArcGIS Pro. ChatGBT is a useful productivity tool for any GIS professional. After ChatGBT is done rendering, you're free to ask another question, enter another statement, or use the advice that you're given within GIS or whatever technical discipline or whatever you're using the tool for. So we'll get into GIS and we'll follow the steps that GBT gave us. First it says go to the analysis tab, click tools, and then we search, find identical. We can click this tool then. We can enter the feature class with which we want to find the identical features in. We'll select an output location for the table, and we'll select the field that the identical values exist in. Once we have that, we'll check output only duplicated records, and we're free to run. When the tool is done running, it'll put a table into the contents frame. You can then open that table and get a view of the actual duplicated values specifically their FID values. So if we were to do a side-by-side -side comparison, we can then see that FID 14 and 15 are duplicates, and then FID 5 and 8 are duplicates. This is just a quick tutorial on how to use ChatGBT to up your productivity within ArcGIS Pro. Make sure to stay tuned as we dive more into this productivity tool. Thanks. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content.